So we're going to have a look at some helpful Ableton tricks in the mastering stage. For example, when you want to uh, apply mastering on one of your tracks, you usually go ahead and uh, take the unmastered version of your track, put it as A, and then you put a second track as B, where you want to apply your mastering. And that way you can uh, see like how much you're actually changing compared to the initial initial version of the track and the initial initial mix down and um, well that's pretty interesting but there are several uh, problems when mastering for example when you try to um, change some frequencies over here in in the mastered version of your track um, I can go ahead and play this quickly this uh, template we made a while ago uh, if you like it, uh, check the description. So if I want to apply equalizer changes on this mastered version of my track, I have to listen to all of the track and in order to notice what I'm actually doing, I might have to listen to it quite loudly to know to notice the difference of what I'm doing. And now there's a little trick you can apply that might be helpful and maybe save your ears and that is phase um, phase inversion. For example, um, you know that in Ableton you have the, avail uh, the utility available and you can invert the phases in your utility. What does that mean? Now if you think of your speaker like um, a line and you're telling the line to go left and you're telling the line at the same time to go right. What does the line do? It doesn't do anything. It won't move because if you tell somebody to go left and right at the same time, the, pe the person will like simply stay in the middle. And that's what happens when we use phase inversion over here on one of our two tracks and on the other one we don't use it. So let's set this, set this up quickly, turn off all the effects and put phase inversion on over here. If we listen to it by itself we should hear something. Let's check. We are hearing something. If we listen to this one by itself we should hear something. But now we like with both active we are going to tell the speaker to go left and right at the same time speak like speaking in this image and we shouldn't hear anything and that's what happens we don't hear anything at all even if there's actually a signal being sent to the speaker so now we can easily listen to the changes we are doing just in the frequency frequency range we are actually changing and we don't have to listen to it that loudly. For example, if I put on this equalizer, this Fab uh, Pro Q, you could also use the Ableton equalizer, but for now I want to use this one because it's also a very nice plugin. And um, let's, um, let's quickly set it back to default. And listen, we don't hear anything, but now we want to maybe change a little bit in the high frequencies. And you notice how you start hearing only the difference you're applying on your mastered version compared to the initial version. So that's a very handy thing and also not only for like saving uh, or um, like not damaging your ears but also for getting a grasp of the concept of your plugins or for example seeing what does my glue compressor, my Ableton glue compressor actually do. For example, if you take a glue compressor, you would also like more very often you would use a glue compressor on your mastering and you would like maybe take the catch peaks preset. And now listen what is the difference this plugin actually makes. We, we are catching peaks now. Let's listen to only the peaks. Everything else is just subtracted. So notice you only hear those short blips um, of the peaks that we are 
subtracting over here from the overall signal. So that's very, very interesting. Let's, let's uh, put the threshold down a little bit. So that would be the stuff we are actually um, taking away over here. Because you, the difference can be what you add, like what I did with the equalizer, but it can also be what you subtract. So um, that's a very interesting point, I think, about mastering. It's very, very interesting as well because you can like lower the volume a lot when mixing and mastering your tracks. And um, uh, like, let's see a mastering chain in action. For example, we have this master. We set up this mastering chain the other day over here. It's uh, it's basically. Uh, uh, low cut equalizer, it's uh, catching peaks, it's uh, cleaning up s some areas afterwards, it's applying a multi band compressor over here, it's getting uh, punchy over here, it's getting a little bit more sustained over there, it's, it's flattening the signal, then we are adding some final touches and then we are applying a limiter on top. I'm taking this down because I think the signal is louder already. Anyways, um, we have this mastering chain explained in a different tutorial on our channel, so make sure to subscribe and watch that as well. And we are also giving it away for free. Um, I'm putting a link in the description over here. And um, also the track that have, we have been mastering over here is um, another template we made a while ago. It's also available on our channel. I'm also putting a link if you like it. And let's see different the difference made by this mastering chain quickly that is very interesting but now one thing we don't know because we haven't analyzed any everything in the in the chain yet some of the difference we are we just heard could be the difference we have actually been taking away from the track not added so um notice that you always have to keep in mind what you're actually listening to when applying this trick still i think it's really helpful and it's also it's not only helpful in mastering, but it could be also helpful in producing because um, if you, for example, if you're layering sounds with different instruments and different plugins maybe, and you want to hear like, what difference am I actually making to the overall layered sound by adding one more element, then you could like double your track and just apply this phase inversion with the utility over here um, like put on left right phase inversion and just hear the difference you're actually making to that sound at that moment so that's um, a simple trick in Ableton using the utility and um, I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial try it out yourself I think you will like it and apply, uh, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and see you next time.